Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So yeah, this is a chit chat get ready with me. You guys have been requesting this forever, so I'm going to do it. If you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It is right down here or over here somewhere. I think it's over here. But yeah, um, be sure to subscribe and be sure to follow me on Instagram and also on Snapchat. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. I feel like I haven't done this in so long. Danielle Marie told me that she loves these types of videos, like when I do them. And whatever Danielle tells me, I do. For foundation yesterday, when I posted, if you guys follow my Instagram, I posted like the shit out of this one look and you guys all loved it. I use this foundation and where's my brush? I use this foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. This is in the number 120 and um, it looks really good in pictures and I plan on taking pictures of this look so that's why I'm going to be using it but um after like hour like six it got gross looking on my skin like it became totally cakey and like blotchy and stuff it was just really nasty and it literally started like peeling off and I'm like all right so uh maybe not that anymore but like in pictures, it looked phenom. There was no flashback, like nothing. So if you're going to like prom or like you're going to a photo shoot, I think this foundation is so great because it photographs so beautifully. But if you want like a long wearing foundation, this is not your ish. Um, but let's talk about what y'all really want to hear. Um, everyone has been asking me about college and, um, I don't have like too much to say about it. Mostly just because I'm only a first semester freshman and I'm still like figuring it all out. I think it definitely is like a huge transition from high school. I mean, obviously college is really great though. A lot of people also ask me about what I think of like Alabama and everything. Um, and I like don't really have an answer. I mean, it's a great school and it's like super fun here. But it, a I get a lot of girls that say like, oh, I got into Alabama. Like, should I go? Like, I can't make that decision for you. You know what I mean? Because like it all depends what you want out of your college experience. And like college isn't for everyone and not every school is for everyone. So like whenever girls will be like, oh, I got in. Like, should I go? I never really know what to say. You know what I mean? Because like. It's not up to me whether you should go, it's up to you whether you should go. Like if you have questions about the campus, like obviously I'll answer that. Um, and like about sororities and stuff. But then again, I only know my perception of my sorority. Like someone else could perceive my sorority that's in my sorority totally different than how I do. Um, and then I'm sure like other sororities perceive my sorority differently than girls in my sorority do. You know what I mean? So. It's just totally how you, as the individual, view, like, college and stuff. So that's why I'm, like, struggling with, like, when everyone asks me to do advice videos on college. Like, I don't really know what to say or anything because, I mean, it's so different for everyone. Do you know what I mean? I have learned that I most definitely want to keep doing YouTube and Instagram. I know in high school I was like, mm. I will probably stop in college, but now I'm here in college and I can definitely say I'm not stopping. I've been really into like contouring my nose lately. I just think it photographs better and I've been really into like taking pictures for my Instagram. It's literally been like my favorite thing ever to do, so follow it because I think it's pretty cool. I like how my Instagram's looking. Sorry, I have to keep my sound on so that I know when my roommate's coming in because this is like the door right here outside. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I know my roommate's coming so I can move out of her way so that she can get in here. Hey, Ray. Hey. hey. How was the thing last night? Was it fun? Oh, it was really bad. <laughs> Why? Oh my they god. Should, yeah. Your lashes look good though. Yeah, they're still like falling off, but I like, I'm just gonna keep them on and just fix them on. You would be instructed to move to the tornado warning shelter. I hate this stupid thing. Then we get phone calls and we get texts. That was a severe weather test warning thing because obviously in Alabama there's like tornadoes and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's doing it again. Oh my god. 
If there was a tornado, I'd go to the parking garage. I don't know what the fuck I would do. Okay, so they felt they need to do it twice today, so that's really great. Um, I'm just setting the under eyes and also around the nose contour i see carly bible do this all the time and her nose looks really great so i'm gonna do it but yeah like i was saying because we are in alabama there's tornadoes and stuff here so they do all those tests so they do those tests once a month and then we all get like phone calls there's my phone call we all get phone calls and we all get um texts okay so when i came to alabama everyone told me that it was like the third rainiest state so i came with like umbrellas raincoats like i was expecting it to rain every single day the only time it has rained since I've been at college is during rush. It has not rained at all since then. Oh, this is the uh, Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder in number 50. Um, I just use this because I really don't have a setting powder that's tinted that matches like my skin right now because I'm really pale. What was I talking about before though? I'm also the worst when it comes to, like covering up breakouts like that because I just don't do it. I just kind of let them be. Oh, I also made the decision. I'm getting tapins. Um, I'm getting them next weekend. So I'm going back home to get them <laughs> because I literally can't get extensions without my extension girl. I just can't do it. So I'm going home to get my extensions in. And I'm like kind of nervous. Everyone says that tapins are better for your hair than the kind that I had. And I wish I knew that before because I could have saved a lot of money. But, like, I'm glad that I tried it because I would have, like, always wanted the keratin kind is the first kind that I had. And I always would have wanted them, like, if I got the tapins originally. So, I'm glad that I got the keratin first. I'm kind of nervous just because, you know, with, like, extensions, you always kind of worry if it's going to ruin your hair. Um, I'm in the process of, like, going lighter and blonder because everyone loves my hair blonde. So I also really like to blonde too, so I'm like kind of in the process of going back. It's like, I got it balayage, but it looks more like highlights, so I guess I got highlights. Anyway, um, have you guys seen this palette? This is the Anastasia Glow Kit palette. It's like their ultimate glow kit, and it has all these highlighters. It's definitely like a warm palette. Anastasia is such a smart brand. Like, they know what's up, and they make products that are trendy, and they're doing such a good job. Like... Sick foundations are super in right now, and they just came out with a whole line of sick foundations. They started making liquid lips when li when liquid lips were just becoming a big thing. They are like on the trend of highlighters more than any other brand that I know. Like they are so on trend, and of course, like their eyebrow stuff is just like a staple, and like everyone uses it. Like they're just such a good brand, and I love like I follow both of them on Snapchat, and I just like, love them both. I think they're both like super sweet and just like. I just really like them. Okay, I never like the look of a nose highlight, but when I contour my nose, I feel like I have to do it. Um, and then blush, I normally use this, oops, I normally use this as just a um, bronzer, like a transition shade bronzer, but I'm going to use it as blush today. It's Baby Don't Go by MAC. It's like almost gone, but I have it back up with me. I've never used this as a blush, so I'm actually kind of anxious to see how it's going to look. I just wanted something that was like warm, but cool. And this is that. Like, it's a good neutral shade. And it's really, really pretty for fall. Oh, wait. This is actually really pretty. Okay. It's actually really, really pretty. I still, like, I think I will always suck at putting on blush. Like, in every tutorial, I'm like, I found out how to put blush on. And then the next morning, I do my makeup. I'm like, oh, shit. No, I don't. Okay. Moving on to eyebrows. I get a ton of questions about, like, what products I use and how I do it and everything like that and I'll show you what I do but honestly it's like nothing special the only trick I have is that I use different types of products like I use a pomade on the outer corner and then I use a pencil on the inner corner and then lately I started using a tinted brow gel over top of it to set it if you watch my old videos you know I hate tinted brow gels but I do like the benefit gimme brow because it's like a small wand so I can actually like you know make it look good um but the biggest tip that I have is that if you're using a pomade and a brush make sure that your brush is clean every single time you use it um it actually works better if it's like a little damp as opposed to like a dry brush i don't know why it works so much better but it really does and this is the anastasia dip brow in soft brown i just got this one i normally use medium brown but i just lightened my hair so i was like okay i guess i'll go up a shade or two um but i darkened it back up with the gimme brow because 
Um, it's a little too light, but medium brown's just a little too dark. Also, I really need to get my brows done. I've been saying that for maybe three, three, four months. But yeah, every time you go back into the dip brow, clean your brush off. And trust me, it'll make such a big difference. Hey. Hey. Oh, God, so sorry. It's okay. Are you recording? I am. I just wanted a bowl and a spoon. <laughs> Please take. <laughs> okay. Your ID's on my... Yeah, uh, my real ID yeah. that I actually need. Yeah. You can come back through. Yeah, I know. I just... I okay. <laughs> you seem a little nervous. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Can we do math lab tomorrow, not today? Are you kidding? No. You better do it with me tomorrow. I will. Okay. I just... I'm gonna go after... I only have one class tomorrow. Today I have three. Okay, fine. But yeah, I just fill in the outer half with the dip brow. Oh, also, one of my videos, my... How to fill in your eyebrow video from like two years ago got a million views and honestly I'm so embarrassed that that video got a million views because my eyebrows look like shit. Okay so I got the Anastasia brow definer and I meant to get the brow whiz in tote but I got the brow definer and um I'm like iffy about it like I'm not crazy about it I won't repurchase it but like I'll use it up it's fine um I just prefer the brow whiz. So I just use taupe on the inner corner. And taupe and soft brown are two completely different undertones. Like, they, in theory, like, should not work together. But I make them work together, and, I mean, it looks fine. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it gets, like, kind of stumpy after a while. Like, it doesn't say sharp and pointy. And it's a very dry product. Like, the brow is, is like, a good mix of creamy and dry to the point where it's creamy. But if you blend it, it doesn't smear all over your face. And it's not dry where you have to, like go over it 30,000 times for it to show up. Like, it's a really great product, and this one is just super dry. Maybe it's just my pencil. Also, the brow is literally lasts me like one month, <laughs> but whatever. You can see, it just creates like a nice gradient. Also, did this come out in the, I think this literally came out in the beginning of 2016, and 2016 is over in two months. Let me know how that happened. I remember, like, New Year's Eve, so vividly as if it was yesterday. My New Year's Eve was a mess. Okay. I don't know how people just slap like tinted brow gel on. Like I like strategically place it on. Okay, so to carve out my brows lately, I've been using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in number seven. Um, this is a concealer. Don't let the name fool you. It's just a concealer. I know what I want to talk about. Let's talk about Grey's Anatomy. I am on season nine. I just started season nine. So, also, let's not put any spoilers in the comments. I already know what happens in season 10. I know what happens in season 11. I know what happens, okay? But there are people who are watching this video who don't want to know. So, don't put anything in the comments, please. Um, but I am on season 9. It just started. So, if y'all know what just happened, you know what just happened. And I have to say, I hate... The show right now I just hate it when there's too much change going on I really have to like take a break and just evaluate what's going on in the show and let me absorb it all and process it all and then I'll like go back and watch it some seasons like this one they just throw so much at you and I'm just like I can't keep up Okay, so the makeup look that I'm going to do today is going to be inspired by Liz. Her name on Instagram is Small Tit Liz. And she does really cool, like, beat to the max makeup every day. And I really admire that. Um, but she also does it in, like, a cool, unique way. Like, her colors aren't really anything, like, groundbreakingly new. But it's just, like, the way that she applies it and the finished product looks really really cool so I'm gonna try to do my makeup like that today and I'm gonna do cool tone grays because that's like my ish like I know everyone loves warm tones right now but I'm just so gray toned like I just love gray tones normally with my eyeshadow I always like kind of round it out but she just kind of pulls it out so I'm just gonna pull it out she's also not afraid to use a lot of product which I also really admire so I'm going to do that too. There's a lot of stuff that I like want to talk about with Grey's Anatomy, but like I can talk about because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone because that's no fun and that honestly ruins it. 
Um, my one friend Emily, she just started watching Grey's Anatomy and she's like posting about it all on her Finsta. And pretty much like everyone and their mother has watched Grey's Anatomy. And she's on season three and she's like crying her eyes out because like stuff with George just happened and like a bunch of stuff just happened. Um, and she's like crying about it and I read all the Finsta comments. Everyone's like, it only gets worse. Like honestly, like prepare yourself. Like it really doesn't get any better. It only gets worse from this point on. And I'm like... This show just sounds like an emotional wreck. Like, why do people do this to themselves, honestly? I'm gonna kinda do like a halo look. I'm gonna bring this onto the lid a little bit. I saw this meme one time. It was like, whenever Meredith cries, I cry. And like, it's so true. You know who makes me uncomfortable when she cries? Christina. Uh, every time Christina cries, I'm like, something is really wrong. Everyone also always tells me that Karev gets better. And to just like, give him a chance, but I just... <sighs> I've been waiting nine seasons I do see his true intentions and yeah yeah they're pure they're nice whatever also I'm at the point where I'm pretty unsure of how I feel about Derek whatever I'm saying too much I need to like not talk about it but just know that I'm literally obsessed with it also I know what I'm obsessed with audiobooks no I'm not about to do an audible promo so sorry audible but um Audible, I'm for real though, if you guys are watching this, like, give me a code, because I literally watch your shit every, I mean, I listen to your books, like, all the time, and I pay, like, 20 bucks for each book. Um, I'm just gonna take that gray shade, I'm just gonna put that on my lid. Um, but I'm serious, like, I listen to audiobooks all the time. I've been listening to Girl Boss lately a ton. I listened, uh, I just bought one today about like the secrets of being a successful woman, but I don't think I'm going to finish it because it's totally not what I thought it was about to be. It's like how to excel in the workforce and like I'm not in the workforce. I want stuff about like inspiring you and like motivating you and all that good jazz. So if anyone has that, hit me up with it. Okay. Um... So I think I'm actually going to go in with this shade right here called Wanderer, if you can see. And I'm just going to throw that on the center of my lid. And I was using my finger. I'm keeping this look matte. Okay, so I'm really not that happy with the lid color, so I'm going to go in with the um, Naked Smoky Palette. And I think I'm going to try out Password right here. It might be too dark. I'm going to mix together Password and 13. Whoa, wait, this palette's literally backwards. Okay, that's a little weird. I'm going to mix together. Oh, fuck. Look what I just did. I'm an idiot. Whatever. Ask me if I care. I don't care. And I'm just going to toss that in the center. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. I honestly, like, don't really like the Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Maybe I just got a bad one, but mine just... I think I did just get a bad one because mine isn't good. It's just... So dry. I'm not giving you, but I fucking am obsessed with my mom's smoking one. She wouldn't let me bring it. Really? It's her favorite one. It's literally my favorite one. Mine's so bad. Really? Mine yeah. blends so easily. Mine doesn't. I think I just got a shitty one. Damn, that's how my naked three is. I hate the third one. Really? I love the third yeah, one. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, so this is the Too Faced Tartist eyeliner. And I'm going to do some intense ass wings today because she always does big wings and I just love the look of it. I also have class three, so uh, I'm going to class like this. So I don't like this wing. Um, I'm going to clean it up though. I hate when I fuck up my wings. Like I literally hate it. Okay, I'm taking this wing off and I'm redoing it. Okay, I'm sad because I don't like this wing. Okay, I'm going to finish my wing and my lashes off cam and then I'm going to come back when I'm, you know, regrouped from this. I want to apologize for my temper tantrum. <laughs> uh, the lashes are Ardell Wispies. They are like my fave lashes ever. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the gray. Okay, and then the one thing that she's like super known for is her um, inner corner highlight. It is blindingly bright and I think it looks phenom. So I'm going to layer it a few times. Look up. So for lips, I'm going to use Malibu by Kylie. That's my favorite lip kit by hers. It's my ultimate fave. And then I'm going to use um, 
Nude Beige by NYX. It's a lip liner. I'm going to do this off camera because my camera is literally dying, but I'm sure you guys have seen liquid lips being applied a million times. Okay, so that is all. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up because I had a little bit of struggle in it and it was a little upsetting at some points. But my hair is about to die, so I'm going to go. I love you guys all so, 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 so much. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.